Good morning, everyone. Um, currently at the same location for a pickup at work. Um, when I was talking about my buddy Danny and detailing his XB. Um, on February 25th, I was in the hospital in San Francisco, got an infection where they had to open surgery and it's gonna be hard to talk about. Uh, he slipped into a coma. I got the phone call. She told me, hey, you need to come down. He only has a couple hours. So in the morning, um, they let visitors come at 8. So in the morning, I left at 6. Got there at 8 with my wife. And I saw Danny. He was asleep. I'm off oxygen, breathing on his own. And, you know, I held his hand. And, you know, I told him that. Don't sleep too long. You gotta wake up. We got cars to build. You gotta win some trophies. And it's like, I feel like he can hear me, but no reaction. I can feel the warmthness in his hand. And what messed me up in like 2018 um, my mom passed away from a stroke and I watched it in the hospital and there was nothing I could do to save her and after holding her hand it, and just sitting there and you can just feel it it's not the same and when Danny was sleeping and everyone started showing up I could feel like everything like hit me and it was hard for me, me to see him in that that state and I couldn't I couldn't watch him like that I didn't want to remember him that way so I said my goodbyes Told him I love him. Stepped outside to get some air because I was breaking out in a sweat and I felt like the room was closing in on me and I couldn't breathe. And then just an hour later, um, I get the text message that he is no longer with us. He's with his dad in heaven. So, talk to the brother. Uh, the mom, the family knows that I was currently going to purchase the XB. So they reached out to me and said, hey, whatever you guys' arrangement deal was to purchase the car, um, if you still want to buy it, let me know. And I was like, yeah, because that's kind of like I can still have Danny with me. That's, you know, he was my best man in my wedding. He, he, I mean, it was, I can have him. It's kind of like I still have him with me and I can build that car, do something with it and like memory of him and I can finally get him to win a trophy. And it's, it's kind of like, I, like I'm just lost for words. So uh, once I get the Civic sold, I'm going to be, hopefully the weather is better in town so I can at least clean up the Civic, get some tires put on the front tires and then either sell it with the the work wheels or the NK wheels or sell them with both and just get all the parts out of the garage, take pictures of everything and sell it as one package because I got to get the XB now because I don't want it to go to a junkyard. I don't want it to go to just somebody that's going to treat it like crap. I just want something I can, you know, if I go drive, it's at least I know, like, hey, 
this is this is Danny's car and you know I can have something to in his memory and I'm I'm happy the the family's letting me have that opportunity and you know I'll you know, I'll, I'll drive that every day so just wanted to guys give you an update I know a lot of people were messaging me and you know with kind words and you know saying like come on you get your friend to lose weight and everything and man we've been trying I mean been doing our best but with his health situation it makes it very hard for him and there's like more to the stories and everything of course but um just wanted to let you guys know what's going on and um once we get rid of the civic get the xp then we'll We'll make that, we'll, we'll build that car dope for him and make it a, we'll win a trophy. We'll, we'll take it to the show and we'll get him something. So, I right guys, short video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, we are at a thousand. I still got a couple more videos to come up and I just got to make time. So, peace. <laughs> so make sure you guys follow this guy. Oh, get, oh, get the shoulders out. Get, get the shoulders out. Get up as well. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm about to do that. You have to go. That's enough.